Hello YouTube, it's me Kelly. <clears throat> I'm going to be doing the uh, tag that was sent to me by Hair by Ash and it's a uh, 2010 tag for the year of 2010 and let me get to her questions. I thought I had them up here but I guess not. Um, okay, let's see here. Let me pause that. Okay, the questions are, what did you do in 2010 that you'd never done before? Well, I put myself on YouTube for one. I never thought I'd do that before. And especially exercising on YouTube. So <clears throat> that's something I did in 2010 that I never thought I'd, that I never, I have never done before. Didn't think I'd ever do. <clears throat> did you keep your New Year's resolution that we make more the next year? Last year I didn't keep my New Year's resolutions. I wanted to quit smoking. I tried and I tried and I just couldn't do it. Um, but I did keep that I was going back on Weight Watchers and um, so I did keep that resolution. Did anyone close to you give birth? Well, I have a daughter that's, she was born February 24, 2010. And so yeah, that's pretty close. <laughs> um, did anyone close to you pass away? Did anyone die? Um, not in the year 2010. What countries did you visit? I didn't visit any countries in 2010, but I have been to Mexico, but not in 2010. <clears throat> what would you like to have in 2011 that you lacked in 2010? Um, I'd like to, um, what did I have in 2011 that I lacked in 2010? Um, I'd like to be able to sell the house. We lacked selling it in 2010. They want us to do a short sale, and we're not going to do that. It's a brand new house. We just bought it in 2000, beginning of 2008. It was brand new. Nobody ever lived in it. It's a four bedroom, two bath. It's a beautiful home. And um, I don't want to do a short sale. And we're not going to do one. And anyway, what dates from 2010 will remain etched upon your memory? Um, the birth of my just over 10 month old daughter and seeing my husband's face when she was born because he was actually stationed in Okinawa, Japan from August, um, it was supposed to be August to February, but for six months. He was supposed to be gone for six, six months, but he was ended, ended up being gone for nine months. But he got to come out for my mother's funeral in 2009, and then he got to be here for the birth of our child. And he got here February 16th, 2010. She was born February 24th, and he had to leave when she was a week and one day old. So that was a really big memory that's going to stay etched in my mind for the year 2010. What was your biggest failure not selling this house? And I feel it's a failure because we put so much money into it um, even before we decided to sell but so much more into it. And we don't want to do a short sale. We're not going to. I'm stubborn that way. <laughs> Did you suffer illness or injury? Um, I sprained my wrist recently. They just started hurting. That might be from me being on the computer too much. I don't know. Um, knock on wood, no illnesses other than the basic cold or whatever. Okay, what was the be the best thing you bought? Um, gifts for my children, whether it be clothes, birthday gifts, this this um, Christmas, anything that I bought them um, that made them smile, made me smile, made me happy. And another thing, my husband got me for July in July. My birthday is July 30th, so he got me a karaoke. It was one of the magic microphones where all the songs are in the microphone. So that was basically for me, but the whole family loves it. Where did most of your money go? Bills, mortgage, gifts, food, just bills. They basically the everyday bills. Um, what did oh, and plus putting money into this house. What did you get really, really, really excited about? The birth of our last child. What song will always remind you of 2009? It has to be called. It's called Seven Spanish Angels" by Willie Nelson and Ray Charles. Um, my mother's favorite song. We played it at our funeral. So that will always always remind me of my mother. Compared to the, this time last year, are you a happier or sadder? I would say happier because I was really sad this time of the year last year. It was right after my mother had passed away. Um, B thinner or fatter? I'm thinner. C, richer or poor. I have to say richer in love and poorer because the holidays. <laughs> okay, what do you wish you'd done more of? Um, exercise. 
um, exercise and put more energy into me not smoking. What do you wish you'd done less of? Eating out fast foods, and you all, all know that I'm going to be doing a no fast food at all. Even on Mondays, normally I'll treat myself to a salad from McDonald's or Subway. Something healthy, but I don't deprive myself. So what I wish I'd done less of was eating out. Okay, how will you be spending New Year's? Here at home with the husband and the family and some close friends and just doing karaoke and having a few drinks with each other. Okay, what was your favorite TV program? Biggest Loser um, and uh, Haunting and American Idol. What was the best book you read? I've read several good books, but the one that I can really say that I've read, it's called, uh, it's by Stephen King, Full Dark, No Stars, and then there's one called The Cell. It's about a cell phone. It's about cell phones. And then, um, what's the other one? Uh, Gerald's Game. Okay, plus a bunch of others. I can go through a book in two to three days, one really good sized book. Right now I'm reading Under the Dome, and that's a very thick book, so that's taken me a little while. What was your greatest musical discovery? Didn't really have any musical discoveries other than getting a karaoke system and just having fun. But um, anyway, um, what did you want and get? Again, I am trying to rush because they're at the grocery store, and I wanted to get this in before it got noisy, and I'm going to be doing a grocery haul as well later. What did you want and get? I got an iPod Touch. I wanted that, and I got it. What did you not... Oh, plus I I also wanted to see my kids happy, so I got that. What did you want and not get uh, to sell this house? Wanted to sell it? Didn't, so that's not happening. What was your favorite film of this year? Eat, Pray, and Love with Julia Roberts, I would have to say. What did you do on your birthday? Had cake, um, just a little piece. Just I just, even though I wasn't even on Weight Watchers in July of 2010, I just, not really much into sweets, but celebrated, got my karaoke, did karaoke. What what one thing would have made your year immeasurably more satisfying? If I would have got more exercise in, and when I started in August, I'm Weight Watchers, if I would have started hardcore from the beginning and not waiting till October to start hardcore, I would have been farther down in weights, in my weight. <clears throat> How would you describe your personal fashion concept in 2010? Right now, I don't have a personal fashion concept other than just dressing comfortably but when I get down there and wait I've got so many clothes that I bought this past couple of years that I want to get into and a lot that are too big on me so what kept me sane my family my husband my kids and the occasional cigarette <laughs> that sounds sad but it has you know not that I'm going to go insane without one I would go insane more if I didn't have my family who do you who did you miss I miss my mother, I miss everybody that I lost, my sister, my brother-in-law, all my loved ones that I've lost over the years. My father passed when I was two, so I miss him. Um, and I miss my family who live in California and my brother who lives in Florida. So, And he's going to be coming down, one of them is going to be coming down to visit for a couple of months. Okay, who was the best new person you met? Everybody on YouTube. All of you guys are awesome. I can't even just name one person. You guys are all awesome, great people. Um, as far as meeting anybody new here, other than my kids, my children's friends, you know, parents, other than that, basically YouTubers, all of you guys have become like my second family. <laughs> tell, you, tell us a valuable lesson you've learned in 2009. Not to take anybody for granted. If your mother's still with you, call her up every day. I wish I could call my mother. I'd call her ten times a day right now, but I can't. Or anybody else, you know, you're... Even if you're mad, tell your husband or your loved one that you love them before you go to sleep. Was 2010 a good year for you? It was a decent year. I wish we could have sold the house. And, um, yeah, I think it was a pretty good year. Uh, okay, let's see. What was your favorite moment of the year? Giving birth, um, having my child, who is now just over 10 months old. And then seeing my children happy every day, and that I see them smiling, it makes me happy. Where were you when 2010 began? I was here in this house. Actually, no, because we I moved in. We moved in January 5th, or I think it was the 6th. But we were at a rental condo that we rented for a month. Um, so we were still in the state of Mississippi. Where will I be when 2010 ends? Right here in this same house. 
Did you make any new friends in 2010? Just my YouTube friends. I thank all of you. What was your favorite month of 2010? It would have to be February when our daughter was born. I have three other children from my previous marriage and this is our only child together in my second marriage and it makes she makes everybody happy. She's just lights up all of our lives. How many different states Providence do you did you travel in 2010? None. I went to um, Alabama that was it. So I guess just one state. <laughs> what was your favorite movie that you saw in 2010? Again I'd have to say Eat, Pray, Love. What was your favorite record? I like all kinds of music so there's not, I can't just put a finger on one. How many concerts did you see in 2010? I went to zero concerts so I've seen none. Um, did you drink a lot of alcohol in 2010? Yes, I did. Um, and that's another thing I want to slow down on. My dog's probably going to start barking. She heard a car door. Did you do a lot of drugs in 2010? I did no drugs at all, ever. Um, the most I've ever done was Tylenol, <laughs> you know, for a headache, or if an antibiotic subscribed to me through a doctor. Did no drugs, and I don't, I don't like drugs. Drugs are not in my not my lifestyle okay what was the worst lie someone told you in 2010 as far as I know nobody's lied to me in 2010 maybe my little brother he just lies about a lot of things not the one that's coming to visit the other one he's really sick and I pray that he gets better but I don't like when he lies about certain things about his health okay how much money did you spend in 2010 I don't know but I know it was a tremendous amount okay I don't have the you know, my husband might have all that written out. I don't know. He's pretty organized on that. How much money? Okay, what what was your proudest moment of 2010? February 24th, to see my husband cry when our daughter was born was one of my proudest moments. And to see her big sister and brothers hold her, it just made me cry. If you could go back in time to any moment of 2010 and change something, what would it be? Um there's not really much of anything that I would change because everything happens for a reason and um, nothing other than you know exercising more and starting Weight Watchers sooner than I did and basically that's it. What are your plans for 2011? To quit smoking? To definitely slow down on the drinking? When I say holidays it's going to be like Christmas, New Year's, Thanksgiving, you know, and birthdays. That's basically it. Not everybody's birthday but my husband's birthday and my birthday. And maybe, you know, like the 4th of July when we go to a friend's house, which is down the street. We normally always go there. Or we sit here at home. So, that's it. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and let you go because they should be coming home. And I'm going to be doing a grocery haul either tonight or tomorrow. Probably tonight. Okay, talk to you all soon. Have a good, uh, happy new year and have a good 2011.